Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Thank you so much for being here and joining me today. Today's video is going to be your mid-September general reading. We're just going to do a little checkup and see how the energy is going. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you'll get notified when I upload new videos. Um, also, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, um, or feel free to also leave a comment, whatever you want to do. Sending all of my love to you guys, Aquarius. Um, I hope this finds you well, so let's get, uh, let's get right into it. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-September. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-September. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-September. We'll do one more shuffle. Alright guys, let's get into it. Um, this is just a message that's coming um, as I was doing some heavy breathing and meditating for you guys. I keep getting like seeing the insides of a stomach or like organs and stuff like that. So make sure you're checking on your health right now, especially your digest digestive health. Um, make sure you're getting plenty of fiber and eating your greens and drinking lots of water. Um, that might be a message for one person or for some of you. I'm not really sure, but that's coming through very loud and clear. Just be very, very mindful of um, be very mindful of just your just your health right now. So all right, guys, this is beautiful Aquarius. You guys started off with the strength card. This is a uh, beautiful energy. You could uh, be dealing with a Libra. Um, sorry, not a Libra. Maybe a Libra because that's what came out. Um, but you, this is the card of Leo, uh, fire sign. But for you guys um, starting this reading with um, the strength card, this is beautiful energy. The strength card is all about um, inner strength. Um, some of you guys are definitely going through some stuff right now, and that's okay. We all we all go through. Um, we all ha we're all on the roller coaster. We're all, you know, sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. Um, I'm not saying that you guys are in a low vibration or anything, but um, this card is definitely calling on you to tap into your inner strength. Um, you know, I always look at the infinity sign on top of her crown. Um, and this is an ongoing force within you. This is an ongoing love and strength and confidence that you have within yourself. Aquarians, you guys really don't have a problem with being confident. You're, um, you're very spiritual. You're very tapped in. You're very intuitive. Um, so make sure you are able to, this month, if you feel lost or like you're not sure what to do about something, Take some time out for yourself and maybe do some meditations um, and prayer and really just take um, take in your own energy and know that you've got this. Like you're strong, you're resilient, you have resources around you to help, you have family and friends that love you. So beautiful card to start the reading here, Aquarius. Awesome. What other messages do we have for Aquarius? But for some of you dealing with a Leo or with another fire sign, they could be a little headstrong right now. Like they could be a little bit intense in your life. That's for some of you. 
but overall I'm getting from the strength card that this is a card or just a sign to tap into your own beautiful uh, inner strength that you already have. Um, even when you feel weak, you're still being strong because you're still surviving. You're still working through it. You're not going to give up. You guys are like the ride or die people. Like if I was trapped on a desert island, I'm like, please assign me with an Aquarian, please. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all are just solid people is what I'm trying to say. Solid, solid souls. out yeah this almost wanted to fall out earlier and I wasn't sure so here it is again and showing it to me in this way uh, five of swords enter the energy this is great um, five of swords upright is usually about conflict mental cloudiness maybe having um, some internal struggles um, with yourself and with the people around you but with this card in reverse Aquarius this is great you're coming out of that energy um, like I'm like I was feeling a little bit, um, there is some, you know, maybe some people around you that have been, um, misguiding you or people that you've really been like thinking about in a negative way, like, oh, why do I have to deal with them? You know, they're annoying me or they're not leading me on my right path. They might be a little bit toxic, um, in your life. They're not bad people, but they're just, you know, th they've just been a little bit, just not the best people for you. That's not, you know, they're not positive influence is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to be, you know, negative or hateful towards anybody else at all. Um, but this is beautiful energy. Um, the skies are clearing for you. There's been huge energy sh shifts lately. A couple more planets have finally gone direct. So this is great. I hope you guys are feeling the energy shift. Things are A-OK. -okay. Like you're... Um, you're putting your sword down, your other people are putting their swords down and just saying like, you know, hey, like, let's just agree to disagree. Or for some of you, you're like, hey, that issue wasn't really the end of the world. Like, why are, why are we stressing about that? So, um, yeah, this is great. You're definitely coming out of a hard time, especially swords are about your mental, um, your mental thoughts, mental energy. Um, for some of you, your mental health is going awesome. It's going in a stronger direction. Um, your mental health is getting strong. You're getting strength, again, from your own self. And fives are all about change. So um, this is great. And the energy is, is clearing up pretty quickly for you guys. So this is beautiful, Aquarius. Very, very good. do we have for Aquarius for mid-September? I'm feeling, or I'm hearing for some of you, like, I was right all along. Like, I just should have listened to my intuition the whole time. Like, there was no reason to get caught up with those people or with those negative feelings or uh, those negative thoughts really um, because you guys knew that you <laughs> were right all along and I bet from here on out you're going to start listening to your intuition a lot more you're going to start really um, trusting back into your own self and maybe, not that it's not okay to rely on other people, because it is, especially people that you love and that you trust, but I feel like recently for um, some of you guys, Aquarius, you've been, um, you've been um, just coming out of a hard time with some people. All right, uh, more swords here. So, uh, Page of Swords in, in reverse. Um, I'm hearing an apology. Someone owes you an apology. 
someone from this five of swords um there's other people in this card like this is you guys looking back like yeah like that wasn't worth it um there was no reason for me to stress out but there's people back over here too that are also laying their swords down again i'm hearing like let's agree to disagree um but on the same token this page of swords this person is immature or even if they're older they're acting immature um, or they're acting like an adolescent that sort of thing um, and I'm definitely hearing an apology because you're looking at them kind of waiting while the the clouds and the energy clears up it's like you know the next time you see them that they're gonna apologize they're gonna say I'm really sorry for how I've wronged you Aquarius because you you were right Aquarius you guys were right about whatever this situation was about you knew to rely on your own inner strength and that helped you clear a lot of your mental clarity mental energy and this page is gonna apologize to you so things are looking in your favor <laughs> <clears throat> What other messages do we have for Aquarius for mid-September? <sighs> These cards are being a little bit quiet. It's like you guys are... It's like you guys are kind of being quiet right now. Which is okay. You guys, um, you're always such a big help to everybody else. It's okay to take some time uh, for yourself. So, it's okay to be quiet sometimes. Well, anytime it's okay to be quiet. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh wow, Aquarius, this is beautiful. I mean, if you can't tell by the cards, it's like I almost don't even need to say anything. Just take this in for a second. This is absolutely beautiful. Well, guess who's going to apologize? This could be your partner, your soulmate. Um, this is really, really beautiful. These cards fell out perfectly together, both in the upright position. This is beautiful energy. You've got the lover's card paired with the ace of wands. You could be dealing with a Gemini with another, um, with a fellow air sign. Um, but this is, oh my gosh, like I'm getting chills, especially with the lovers falling right under the strength card, the ace of wands falling under this five of swords energy, um, all that negativity and that maybe an argument or a just not an argument maybe, but like a disagreement um, is being cleared. They're going to apologize and with that apology and with you honing in on your own strength, Aquarius, you're having so much passion right now with a partner, with a soulmate, with someone who you love dearly and someone who loves you dearly. I just love the lover's card. It's so beautiful. This is a divinely guided relationship. This is so freaking beautiful, um, especially paired with the ace of wands. This is passion. This is blessings from above. This is a new beginning, a new start. Um, and all that's happening because you guys are getting your shit together. You guys are, um, especially you guys, you know that you're strong. You know that you were on the right track to begin with. Um, some of you, especially with the way the cards have just been kind of quiet, I feel like a lot of you guys are really tapping back into your spirituality and praying or, you know, whatever you do to get connected. You guys have really been working on that and it's, it's showing, like your results are here. It's happening now. You're being connected divinely with your, with your love, with your, um, with your soulmate. So for some of you, this could be a twin flame, but I'm definitely seeing this is definitely some soulmate energy, passion, love, like everything you've wanted. It could have been with this person. This could have been um, just you guys not seeing eye to eye, and they were kind of. Um, you know, making you really feel stressed out. But again, they're going to give you an apology and that's really going to bring you guys together. This is so beautiful, Aquarius. I'm so happy for you. I just want to like, ah, like jump around and like applaud you guys. This is just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so excited. All right, let's see what else. Okay, wow. This is 
wow, you've guys got some, some more major arcana cards. Um, don't be afraid of the tower card. I'm getting chills because it's paired with the emperor. Uh, emperor, it could be, it's a card of um, Aries. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, could be a fire sign here with the strength card. But regardless, um, you guys are like taking the next level in your relationship. You guys are, um, you know that you've been through a tough time. The emperor is, he's not dressed in armor anymore. He was before, um, you know, he still has his like armor boots on, um, and all that stuff, but he is sitting pretty. He is strong. Um, and this is great. Y'all, you guys are, like, this is a concrete, solid foundation. Like, this is a solid relationship. And here, ending with the Tower card, I feel like this is, this is like, what needs to happen. This is the card that is, I feel like I just want to put it right here. This card is, like, you guys have gone through the Tower moment recently to get the skies to clear for yourselves Someone had to apologize. Someone had to say something to you. And for some of you, you might have been the one, Aquarians, who needed to apologize. But I'm really feeling like this is the other person for the majority of you. Um, it's felt like this in the recent past. It's, it's brought a tower moment to you. Um, but you guys are strong. You've got the strength inside of you to get through this. And your reward is is here. It's a blessing. It's a blessing from above, from God, from spirit, from, you know, again, whoever you pray to. I mean, this is just wonderful. Don't be afraid of the tower. We all have to go through the tower to get to the top. <laughs> go through the tower to get to the top. <laughs> all right, Aquarius, let's see what angel message we have for you guys. And two, um, two major arcana cards and another one to wrap it up and even another one here. But in this row, we've got two, you've got four major arcanas. Like this is, this is so deep and just something that's been waiting to arrive. This has been something in the works for quite some time. It's felt a little bit messy in the past, but things right now in mid-September, especially by the end of the month, um, uh, so much passion, so much stability. Things are being um, cleared up for you. The energy is clearing. This is wonderful, beautiful energy, Aquarius. messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-September? All right, you guys got the trust card um, for your angel message. This is beautiful. Trust in yourself, guys. Trust that you are doing the right thing. You're on the right track um, because you are. You've got it within yourself to make this happen. Um, you're strong. You know that no matter what life um, may throw at you sometimes, no matter what, you've got the inner strength to get through it. Um, you know that Things are always temporary um, when people disagree or when people argue um, or don't see eye to eye, that sort of thing. Those are always just temporary moments, temporary moments in time. The big picture here is are these cards down here. Like this is the this is the major, major shift of energy that's happening for you guys, Aquarius trust it you know it inside you feel it you know something big is about to happen and oh my goodness <laughs> is it 
All right, Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave you there, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Make a comment um, if this resonated with you, um, that sort of thing. And again, sending you guys all my love. Congratulations. This is such a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'll see you in the next one.